All right, this is going to be a lesson on Steely Dan. We're going to have two songs. We're going to have Peg and Pretzel Logic. So I'm on a Steely Dan kick right now, as you can tell. So let's start out with Peg. So we have a series of chords here. We have like eight or nine chords to get this thing going. The first one is going to be a G major nine. So we're going to have like a D chord down here. O two three two, just like a D chord, but we have a G bass up here. You want to mute the A string. So that's a G major nine. Then we're going to come to this F sharp seven sharp nine. That's going to be like a power chord F sharp. So it's going to go two four two three, like a seven chord. But your pinky is going to get both of these bottom strings. And so if it ends up where you can't really play that uh, D string, it's no problem. You still got plenty of notes there. Okay, that's an F sharp, seven sharp, nine. So let's listen to those two together. Now, this is a tricky one. We're going to do an F power chord down here. Now, we want to get a two, one, three on the bottom. So we are barring that whole thing. You're trying to mute the D string. So that's an F add nine. So it has notes from an F. It's not really playing that D, so it doesn't have the F7, but it has this G on it, which is the ninth note, which is the one up from the root, the F. So we have one, three, muting the D, and then we have two, one, and three on the bottom. So those three chords we got. And then we're gonna go E7 sharp nine, but instead of hitting two, one, three, three on the bottom, they want us to hit the two here on the fifth string, so we keep the D string muted again. And that's an E7 sharp nine. Then we're gonna have this E flat add nine. That's gonna be six on the A, six, five, three, and six, muting the two outside strings. So let's look at all those again. G major nine, F sharp seven, sharp nine, F add nine. Got the two, one, three on the bottom, the power chord. E seven, sharp nine, E flat, add nine. Then D seven, sharp nine, five, four, five, six. And then we're coming into the. Okay, so that gets us into the verse. So this is a C major seven, three, five, four, five, three. We're gonna go. Now that's a B minor seven sharp five. So B minor seven would be like this normally, but you know, the fifth note, it's sharp. So it's up there. So instead of F sharp, it's a G. That ends up being two, five, two, three. So you go. And then we're gonna switch the second chord. So C major seven again to G add nine, they call it. Two, three, three on the bottom strings. And that ends up being the one that you play a whole lot throughout the song. So let's look at the intro again. We got G major nine, F sharp seven sharp nine, F add nine is kind of a weird one. E seven sharp nine, E flat add nine, D seven sharp nine, and then we get into the so that C major seven to D minor seven sharp five just the one time between those two and then we switch over to this other one G add nine here's the verse so four times of those chords and then we're gonna go F major seven three two one open to C add nine three two O oh, three three being on the A string, three, two, open three. So it's like a C, but it has that D in it, which is the nine of C. So we're gonna have F major seven to C add nine twice. And then back to the first one, C major seven to G add nine, two times. And then like with most blues progressions, here comes the turnaround, the five chord, G major seven, five, four, three, two, to D add nine. And that's five, four, two, five. Only the one time, and then back to the F major seven, to C add nine, and then back to your original one. Second verse, same thing. Four of these. F major seven to C, C add nine. Back to the C major seven. Turn around, you got the G major seven to D add nine, and then F, C. 
Now we're ready for the chorus. The chorus is gonna go. So that's our B minor seven sharp five again. So we got the C major seven to that. So instead of bump, bump, you know, that kind of thing, we just have these kind of single hits. Now those two chords, that's like an A7, but it has this three on the second string. So it's an A7 sus four. And then this is an E7 sus four. So instead of O2, O1 for E7, we got that two in here in the G string. So A7 sus to E7 sus. So once again, we got the C major seven to B minor seven sharp five. And then the A7 sus, E7 sus. Two times with these. And then A to C. Then G to F sharp seven. B minor seven. E7 sharp nine. A minor seven to this D9 sus. So the one in the book, they have that laid out on this one. So this is nine on the G string, then eight, and then 10. So instead of doing your A minor seven over here, I figure you might as well do it up here on the fifth fret so you're closer to that last thing. So let's look at that chorus again. C major seven to B minor seven sharp five. A seven sus, E seven sus. Repeat them. Regular A to C. G to F sharp seven, B minor seven, E seven sharp nine, which once again, they have us playing it like the power chord here with the one, three, three on the bottom. And then A minor seven to this D nine sus, nine, eight, 10. And then we're back to. Then we have an interlude here. We have F sharp minor seven, two, four, and all twos. To the B minor seven to an E minor seven, which I'm gonna do with these twos here, like an E minor, but put that three on the second string. Back to B minor seven, C major seven. So that whole interlude. And then we're back to the intro. And then the solo starts. The solo is all the exact same chords as a verse. And then the solo starts. You'll have four of those before you start moving. It's all the same chords. Then we come back into a verse, which is gonna be all the same chords again. And then let's go to our last chorus here. We're gonna start repeating this chorus. So we got. A to C. keeps repeating that and it fades out so let's look at um the intro again let's look at those little riffs that happen on that like the horn line so we got so we look at those little melody things so we got the five three five on the b string so first we have that g major nine chord and then you answer that with five three five and here goes the next chord now our answer to that is right out of the f sharp minor pentatonic scale we got six on the g to five, seven on the B, little five, back to that seven. So we got. And then we got the next chord. So one, three, one on the B string on that one. So it's gonna go. And then next chord. Right out of the E minor pentatonic. See where, these, see where they're getting these notes? And then we have the E flat add nine. So that's coming right out of one of those notes of the chord, right? So we got three, one, three, or three, five, three, however you want to do it. And now in this D seven sharp nine. So we're kind of doing the D minor pentatonic scale there. So see how that kind of changed around with each one. So once again.
Okay, so that's the notes, the melody notes for whenever you do that intro kind of musical interlude there. So it happens later in the song too. Okay, I'm going to move on to Pretzel Logic now. Pretzel Logic is that one that's like, I love to tour the Southland. So it's like... You can think A minor 7 if you want. And your little riff here is 4 on the G and 3 on the B. So the 5's on the same strings there. So You could just kind of hit a bass. So it's like four times of that, and then the band comes in four times, and then when he starts singing, it's going to be one time of that, we're going to go to an F major 7, which I got a 1 here in the bass, mute in the A, and then 3, 2, 1, open. So it'll be like, here's the, here's the verse. Love to do the south land. So you jump to that F major 7, but you still have that same riff. Traveling minstrel show. Two more times of this. Now we're going to hit a D minor 7. And the notes will change a little bit. It's going to go from the fives to the seven and six. So D minor seven. Back to A minor seven. Twice. Now we have some slash chords. This is a D chord with an E bass. Now you could do it a couple different ways. You could do it real simple and just go. So let's take a look at that. Now, you, if you want to make it a little fancier, so it's just sevens to nines and fives to sevens. So D to E and C to D. Okay, so that's the easy way to do those. Now, if you want to add the extra bass notes to it, it'd be like... Okay, so that would be like seven on all four of those middle strings. That would be an E bass going with the D. And then I'm jumping here to go to an E. This is that six, four, five, four shape, kind of like an E like that. But I'm doing an A in the bass, and I'm muting the A string. So this is the fifth fret I heard with the thumb. So you have an E with an A in the bass. E slash A. And then we're going to switch over here and go to the C with the D bass. That's all those fifth fret, those four middle strings from the A down to the B. And then to this D shape, 4, 2, 3, 2, with a 3 in the bass, G bass. That's a D with a G bass, D over G. So we got. And then we got this from the fourth string down to the second string, 10, 9, 10. Kind of an A minor with a C bass down to like a D shape here, 11, 10, 10, or you could throw that 12 in there if you want. Back to that. So 10, 9, 10. To smaller strings, 11, 10, 10. Back to that. And then we have the F major 7. Back to that riff, and then G. Now the G's gonna have this pull off. And go ahead to the G open. Or you could go to that G there, it seems a little easier to me to go. Back to the A minor. Okay, so that's basically what's happening through there. Um, the solo is kind of the same thing. The solo is gonna be a little different, it's gonna go. I'll go to the easy ones. So this one's a little different. It's gonna be a C with an F bass. So we got the five, five, three from a C. We have an F bass here. So that's C, 
over F, C slash F. To a B flat, that's the first time we've seen a B flat in there. And then we're back to the. Now we're about to hit the break. D bump on the A minor. So that's a little breakdown. Hit on the F major seven, back to A minor seven. And then we're gonna have. So that's an A to B to C to C sharp, up to D minor seven, walk up in a kind of a triplet feel. Remember that was the fives to the seven six. And then we're back to the A minor. And then we got the chorus. And you can really get away with those because, um, you know, if, it, if you're playing with the record or playing with a band, the bass has, player has got that correct note to match with that. But it's kind of like cool if you can add those. If you can start hearing those extra things, it's kind of fun. And Steely Dan is, like I've said before, like masters of that slash chord kind of stuff. So we get back into all this normal stuff. We're going to have the... like our last chorus. Over a long time ago. Oh yeah. Now at the end it just starts repeating that. Steely Dan, Peg and Pretzel Logic. Please like and subscribe. I'll try to work out a tab for these in some in some fashion. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.